be wondering, it's already 2023, Chicha. I know, I'm really sorry. But if you're curious about the last paid vlog, it'll be in the description. Anyways, let's just jump into this year late video. First up, we did things a little bit differently this year, and we wanted to have like a home cooked picnic item on the menu. Because last year I think we just got McDonald's. So we made onigiri or rice balls. And the filling we chose to make was tuna mayo. We pan fried them after shaping them just to see if they would hold their shape. And as you guys can see, they did not do that. Some fell apart, but it was still tasty. So we ate them in a bowl. That's, that's two of the victims of the pan frying. And uh, ignore the no shimbo little soup. That was our breakfast while we cooked lunch. And then these are some of the finished products. Please excuse the various shapes. We used to have like a onigiri maker, but we couldn't find it. So we just used our hands and we're out of practice. We put them into two Tupperwares, one for the picnic and one for the ones we're giving away. The next stop you might be familiar with from last vlog is Target for our art supplies. Because the ones we used from last year, most of the colors are all dried up. This year though, we did try something different and went to Total Wine to buy some flavored beer. You know how like they drink wine and paint? Well, we don't really drink wine, so we're gonna try flavored beer and paint. These are the ones we decided to get. These Taiwan beer flavors of mango and lychee. The lychee just tasted like straight up beer. The mango was better, but not by a lot. Our last stop was shared tea to get some boba and fruit tea in case we didn't like the beer. Cause disclaimer, we don't really like alcohol. We finally made it to the park and here is our spread. Here are the art supplies with the newly bought paint wipes for messy eating and painting, five guys fries and burgers with some little bite snacks, the shared tea, fruit teas, and then to the top left, the beer with some cups, the onigiri is in the Tupperware in that plastic bag, and that's it, that's all we had. So during the eating part of our picnic, we were watching an episode of Cold Lyoko this is what it is. We used to watch this a lot when we were kids, so it was like a nostalgia trip. We just binged the, like the first two seasons last year. Finally, we get to the painting part, and while we figure out what we want to paint, I pull out my art book where I keep all my ideas for painting. And today, this is what we're going to be painting. But I did have like a second idea. I was practicing like sakura blossoms and tree branches. But as you can tell by the shadows, it might be a little late to do something that detailed. Here's some fruit my mom tried to sketch. I let her use this sometimes. And on the other page, we have a scenery that she painted. My mom has this thing for butterflies. She really loves butterflies. So here we have like a kaleidoscope butterfly. And then on the other page, there's like a sketch I made of an old shaman dude. Cause I felt like making swirly clouds and a shaman dude. And then on this last page, I'm gonna show you. It's a random sketch, some random doodles, just a pencil page of randomness. That alien is inspired by Beyonce's song, Alien Superstar. We finally get to our first brush stroke on the canvas, 
and I really like this shot um, because, I don't know, I didn't notice it at the time, but the shadow of my water cup, like, just elongated on the canvas, it just looks so nice to me. But yeah, um, you guys remembered what I'm copying in my art book, so we're just dividing this canvas, dividing it into black and white, white and black. shadows like long shadows I think of long afternoon it's been a long afternoon right and it's sunny lets you imagine what kind of day it might have been it's not a cloudy day because you don't get shadows like that on a cloudy day unless you do and I don't know what I'm talking about but again it's going to be a pretty simple painting well simple less colors, less things going on, pretty straightforward, swirly eyes, black, white, and red colors, but yeah, simple, considering we're short on time, it looks like we've completed the black and white part of our painting. Just adding the shape of the swirls and eyeballs. I like this part. Growing up, I really liked drawing these uh, swirls or doodling these swirls on my notebook, papers, notepads, sticky notes. Sometimes people's arms with pens and marker. It's just my favorite pattern. This was my favorite. Jesus. 
also in charge of the music, as you can see by her phone, and currently we are listening to Twice. I can't see the current song, but I can tell it's from the Taste of Love album. Stan Twice. But here you can see in real time Dee Dee's idea of a shark changing already. Dee Dee's painting of a shark changing already. Now, moving on to Jail's painting. And last year he did, uh, I think, a BTS album. I think Hope World, J-Hope, a member of BTS. This year he's doing another K-pop album inspired painting. I think this one might be inspired by any pen. I could be wrong. He's using some pretty bright colors, like neon light colors, with this very bright pink and very bright orange. And here I've got him dabbing more of the orange. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 actually a blue mountain and it looks like she's going to be making two blue mountains to be exact coming back to Xavier we see that he's still showing us his color theory with the orange pink and purples and it looks like the colors are blending quite nicely now back painting. And here's a little close-up of him dabbing some pink on top of the orange. I think it makes a really pretty, pretty, pretty pattern. Pretty, 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 pretty pattern. Now he's getting more of that. I don't know. I 
associate those those shapes, eyeballs, and swirls with discomfort. And that's what I'm going for this time. Because last time, it was like comforting vibes. This time, it's a little bit uncomfortable discomfort. I skipped quite a bit, but again, this canvas is bigger than the one we did last year. Or last time. with a creepy vibe I'm going for. If anything, I think it amplifies it. Now I just have to wait for the reds to dry. Let's go check on everyone else again. Here we have Dee Dee finishing up her orange sky and further solidifying that her sun is an egg yolk by leaving some of the space around it white. It's like a sunny side egg. I love sunny side eggs. What's your favorite way that egg is cooked? I really like a crispy sunny side egg where the edges are just about burnt. We fast forward a bit in Diane's painting and she's Savior. But we 
Swirly, swirly eyeballs, baby. 